And volunteer firefighters throughout Blanco County are working together to fight the fires. There are only two paid and fully staffed firefighters in the entire county. KXAN's Jacqueline and Glace tells us how departments are now pooling their resources. Working construction is Roy Burdett's day job. If a fire breaks in Blanco, he's paged. And like the Clark Kent of fires, he drops everything and becomes the chief for the Johnson City Volunteer Fire Department. You go if you can go, so every call we have no idea who's going. For some of the 30 volunteer firefighters, fighting fires at a moment's notice isn't an option. I got another lady that works for the Park Service. You know, when the alarm goes off, it's it's always fun to see who's going to be here. This makes fighting fires hard. Both Johnson City and Round Mountain Volunteer Fire Departments are unmanned. Call them, and you'll get this message. We'll get back as soon as we can. We are not here full time, but we do check messages frequently. Only two firefighters sit on staff here at the Blanco Volunteer Fire Department. Blanco County has 10 of these brush trucks, six tanker trucks, and only two paid staffed firefighters. Now, with these limited resources, they have to cover a county that's 713 square miles. It's not what you want to hear when wildfires are breaking out almost daily. To keep residents safe, all three departments are pooling their resources. They form the Blanco County Wildland Task Force. When we have a fire alarm for any, any fire department in Blanco County, we are all going. Firefighters used this tactic Saturday night when fire threatened homes across 15 acres. We felt like we did pretty good. Resources could even get more limited. Legislators are looking to cut $14 million in grant money to volunteer departments across the state. Although budget money comes out of property taxes, grant money is used to purchase tankers and trucks for these three departments. In Blanco County, Jacqueline Inglace, KXAN, Austin News.